Hey everybody, this is Pete. And in this video, I want to answer a question that was posed to me recently. Can I have a content center family where two of the values can be edited on the fly? And the answer is yes. So if you've ever used a structural shape, you're familiar with being able to place a steel shape, for example, like an I-beam or a tube, and you can assign a length value. So we're going to do the same thing but we're gonna give people an opportunity to change the width and the length of a particular plate. So what I've got here is a really simple plate. I've got some parameters, width, length, and thickness. So pretty basic stuff. And to save a little bit of time, I've already created the I part table. So I find in a lot of cases when you publish to the content center, an I part can be a really helpful starting point and part of the reason why is if I go ahead and edit the table, I can do some pre-work here. So I'm not gonna worry about the member and the part number, I'll fix that when I get to the content center, but width and length, I might wanna control these. So as you're probably familiar with an I part, I could create very specific configurations of the design. But what I wanna do is I wanna actually right click on the width column and I'm going to give people the opportunity to make changes to it. And once I make it a custom parameter column by right clicking on the heading, I can specify a range. So this is where I could say it always has to be greater than, I don't know, one inch, but it can never be greater than, let's say uh, 60. So it can never be more than 60 inches wide. So now I've placed a limit on that design where we can place this I part, but it would have a, a, a variation of widths that we could choose from. So that's it. And like I said, I'm not gonna worry about any of the members here. We'll go ahead and hit, uh, yeah, we'll hit okay. We'll call that good. So at this point, what I would do is I would publish this part. Again, from the manage tab where we created the I part, we go ahead and publish this. Usually it likes it to be saved, so I'll save it. So we go ahead and publish this I part. Now I already have an existing library. I've got lots of videos out there on how to manipulate libraries. I'm not gonna go through that. Just gonna simply pick this in the other parts category. So other parts is a great container for content center when you don't have specific things you wanna do. So for example, if you have a fastener you wish to publish, there are very specific items of information that you need in order to publish a fastener. The other parts is out of the box, kind of place it wherever you want. Uh, so I'll just pick that. That's what I mean, there's nothing to map because there's no specific properties for other parts, so we're good there. And then I, I typically like to place this in the order in which they would select it. If you do this backwards when you publish, so length, then width, then thickness, I actually want it to be thickness, width, then length. So if I pick it in reverse order, I don't have to rearrange anything. So I go ahead and hit next. That's fine. We're going to fix that when we get to the content center. And then I always like to put my company name in here because if I ever need to filter for it, depending if it's a structural shape, the fastener, etc., it's easy to find. So we'll call that good. Yeah, we're going to go for it. Cool. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So we publish that, I go up to the editor and some of those error messages were pretty much just because I had published this already. <laughs> so, uh, but here's our CC plate. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna edit the family table. Now I, you can do this in the merged view or you can go to your specific library, it doesn't really matter. We're gonna edit the family table. So there's two things I wanna edit here. Number one, I wanna show you what happens to the width. So because we published the I part, which already had some limitations on the width, that automatically comes up to the content center family. So like I said, an I part's a great place to start. We can do the same thing for length. So if you didn't do that, it's not the end of the world. You just come up here and do a custom extra column. The first number is the minimum. Second number is the maximum. Third number is an increment, which I don't use very often. And the last number is the default. So we'll say 48. So now we've applied the same type of controls to this. 
So the last thing that I want to touch on here as far as editing is you want to make sure that you change the file name and part number. So I could do something like this in quotes, just a refresher for those. The ampersand stands for like, uh, if you ever do concatenate like in an Excel spreadsheet, this allows me to put multiple strings together. And then I'm just gonna grab each value. So I double click thickness, and then I can do another quote, that would be T, and then maybe uh, underscore, it's typically what I use. And then I'll grab width and et cetera, et cetera. So we'll go kind of quickly through this. And then we'll grab length. Cool. So that's the file name. I hit OK. And now you can see that we're manipulating what that file will be called. At this point, I can get rid of the member column. That's only useful for the I part. I don't need that. And then for the part number, <clears throat> I'm just going to set that equal to the file name. Don't have to repeat the effort. Now we've got this table all set up. And you could, of course, come in here and add rows. If you didn't add them to the content center, or I'm sorry, the IPART table, you could then add them now. And we can add whatever we want, as many rows as we want, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm not call that good. So we've got a bunch of data in here. We'll hit OK. And then we'll see what it looks like when we actually try to apply this. So if I create an assembly, <clears throat> I will try to place my content center part. And I've remapped my button here at a more quickly place from the content center. Should find my plate. And there are my thicknesses. And then this is where I can make changes. So one second. Sorry about that, head to sneeze. And so then I can make changes. So if I want this to be a 24 by 72 plate, I can now resize the shapes. I can save it as a standard, just like a regular content center type shape. And just to verify, it's always good to verify. Boom, boom, you can see it's 24, quarter inch thick, 72 long. So that is how you can publish a content center family that does allow you to change two directions. You can probably do multiple things there, have a thickness be variable as well, but I just want to give you a, a quick example. Hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions or comments, let me know and have a blessed day.